So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about all the things you should do if you're bringing your horse to a new field, or if you're switching yards, or if you're moving your horse to a new home, all the things you should go through and check beforehand, and all that sort of stuff. Today I'm bringing Sophie down to a new field. It's our neighbor's field actually, and he said we can put Sophie down there for a while. And that's what this video is going to be about. Right, so let's go. So here we are at the field now. There's actually another pony inside that field as well. Yeah, Sophie's better before we let him say hello. And um, I already went in there today and checked the whole the wire all around and made sure there's no barbed wire or anything. And there's a bucket in the corner filled with water and um, it looks okay. So I'm gonna put them in now. So here's Sophie already eating the grass. So there is a load of grass in the field and then there's that other horse coming down now. So we'll let them say hello and so we'll see how they get on now. So I think that other horse is about 15 hands. They're probably going to go, Woo! now you know how horses do. Damn. So, here's a field all round. Some parts are sectioned off and stuff, but then just go show her the bucket and all now. Just stay out of the way now, just in case. Don't want to get in the way of two horses. Because <coughs> that happens. But then both of them are mares, so I'm not too worried anyway. And I'm going to take the head collar off, off for now in a second anyway. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't be leaving the head collar on. And I'm just going to go over here and um, see if the bucket filled up yet. And yeah, the bucket is full. I'm just after taking her head collar off now. So, um, and, um, get out of the way here a bit. So, in a field, there should be a decent amount of grass. Well, I think in this field is a bit too much, but, um, she won't be here all the time anyway. Not 24 hours a day anyways. And um, there should be clean, fresh water available at all times. There should be some shelter for, with trees or something like that. And um, there should be proper fencing. There's electric wire here. You can see over there. And um, yeah, it goes around the whole field and there's no dangerous objects like barbed wire lying around or stuff like that. And um, yeah, touch wood now. I think that these horses get on. They're all right. And you see, you got a new buddy. You got a new buddy. And a whole load of cows over there as well. So lots of buddies, lots of grass. Lots of water, nice weather as well. Now these hopes. <coughs> and just let the horses meet each other, let them say hello and just know each other and just let them hang out as well, you know? Just do a couple of little videos of them, maybe take a photo. Where are you going? Where are you going?
No glass hopes. You guys any? Right, show you go girl. Oh, no, let me get that for you off of there. Good girl. Good girl. Show me the best though. Show you the best. So I have a book of clean water. It's good. Oh, they're grooming each other. Are you grooming ourselves? Hey, oh my god, that's great. Are they buddies already, aren't they? You know his buddies already. You sure are. <laughs> Sophie, you're making her green. You're making him green. Make sure to hit subscribe if you want to see more videos about Sophie, horse riding and all the other crazy things that I get up to.